This time of year, scams are on the rise. This includes one local man who recently fell victim to a scam. Now he's telling his story to warn others, along with scam experts to give us some prevention tips. Believe in me because what we do here is real and legit. Michael Brogdex is a winner of a publisher's clearinghouse check, or that's what he thought. PCH money is supposed to be free money. It's supposed to have done I already came here. Uh, from cars to truck to, uh, well, do you want me to cancel your money? He gave an agent, Larry Smith, almost $2,000 over the span of four months in untraceable Apple cards. Invest more money trying to see if whether or not I can win this money because purchase was Apple cards that I was supposed to been purchasing to obtain my winnings. But he is not alone in falling victim to this scam, it being one of the most common because of the PCH brand. Publishers Clearinghouse uh, uh, makes mention of that particular scam because it's so common. They aren't just picking a name out of a hat, they're picking a well-publicized name that goes back to years ago. When John Riggins with the Abilene Better Business Bureau says these scams are becoming more believable and widespread. It puts these scams into overdrive. I've seen these scams uh, back when they were just uh, direct mail pieces and now they're, they're uh, you get AI, you get the internet, you get email. Rodnex just one of many at a loss, getting caught in a vulnerable moment after losing his wife. I would have lost so much now that I uh, I lost my wife. I lost anywhere from two to three G. Just wanting to get his life back financially after being betrayed and taken advantage of. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Mariah Williams, KRBC Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Mariah. If you are unsure if you are being scammed by a company or outside source, you can contact the Better Business Bureau here in Abilene. 